See, you can only love out of strength. It takes strength to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he can lie. He don't lie. You be a vessel that God can Because you, somebody might need your holy prayer to save them one day. Hello, this is Dr. Will Wheat, and I'm here to continue our conversation on the word metanoa, which is translated in the Bible as repentance. Now, in the previous videos, um, we discussed the true meaning of metanoa. The term that we want to attack today is the thought and the preference of changing your mindset, setting this thought in the center of your mind. We want, to, we want to attack the reason for this. And you have to go all the way back to Genesis to find the reason that we need to change our mindset. To put the right mindset, the right perspective in the center of our mind. In the beginning, when God was fellowshipping with Adam and Eve, there was a mindset that he, he gave them that was lost when they looked away or they believed a lie. To today, we have seen this lie perpetuated in many different types and forms. So let's examine this. God is setting or has set Adam in the midst of the garden. In the midst of the garden, there are these two trees. There is the tree of life and there is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The serpent, the cunning one, and again, we, uh, we point out, and maybe I didn't do it on this video, let me point out the word that is translated naked is aroma, and the word that is translated cunning is aroma. So the same word means vulnerable, and the serpent was vulnerable, or um, the most vulnerable of all of God's creation, because I'm, I'm just assuming because he had no arms and no legs, that made him the most vulnerable, which made him to be the most cunning of all of God's creation. But nakedness mean in the original term was being vulnerable and being unashamed of showing or exposing your vulnerability to one another. Adam and Eve was naked. They were vulnerable to each other because they had the proper mindset. There was no need of a defense mechanism as long as they knew who they were and their relationship with one another as well as their relationship with God. Now, however the story goes, uh, and however it, it unfolds, this reality comes where they begin to believe a lie. They begin to believe that this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was meant to be God's favorite tree. And when they looked upon there, on that tree, they discovered something that is, that is special for men and mankind, and that is desire and attraction. Desire and attraction is not as physical as we try to make it. Desire and attraction is actually a spiritual component to help you realize your direction and cause movement toward that direction as long as you have the proper perspective. So seeing this tree was desirous, they were seeing it was desirous for the, out of the wrong perspective. They were thinking it was desirous because they thought it was what God wanted above all other trees and he was keeping it from them, which would cause them not to be as God. This created inside of them a rivalry, a competition with God. And what developed from that is they begin to desire and reach out for, which causes conflict, into this tree. And they partook, partook in it. And they, they partook of knowledge that they didn't have but a knowledge they wasn't ready to handle that absolutely perverted their viewpoint and their perspective. When this was done, now they see themselves and God from a wrong perspective, and they decided to create coverings for themselves. This perspective started a wave of destruction and violence that is absolutely historic and world-changing. Well, I'm out of time. But I want to come back and finish this thought with you. 
in later videos. I do want to remind you, however, that God has plans for your life, and none of those plans include defeat. People of Greater Los Angeles, Apostle Will Wheat has a word from God that is revealing, powerful, and life-changing. Every Sunday, lives are being transformed by this powerful word from God. Families, businesses, church leaders, and the world are hearing God's plans for their lives. And none of those plans include defeat. It has been said that there have been Jesus sightings in his services. So you owe it to yourself to be a part of one of the greatest movements and Jesus sightings that this city has ever experienced. And you can download Apostle Week's Sunday messages for free at nccfc.net. nccfc.net. Sunday services are at 1 p.m. And midweek services are Wednesdays at 7 p.m. There is faith for your destiny at nccfc.net. NCCFC .net.